Hey everyone, welcome back to Break Tag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to do a quick little unboxing here of uh, more silver that has come in from TD Precious Metals. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about what was going on with uh, silver and gold spot price yesterday. So if you're like me and you're a stacker, obviously you're checking the, uh, the silver and gold spot price multiple times a day. Uh, ever since I've gotten into stacking, that's something that, you know, you know it, I'd say conservatively, I would say 10 times a day that I check. Uh, but yeah, there was quite a big movement yesterday. And this came from a week where there was quite a bit of movement in the early week in the upward direction. And uh, sorry, I'm not much of a market analysis guy. Uh, if you want in-depth stuff, go to like another channel like uh, Juice Stacking or something like that. Uh, but for me, this is just going to be a very, very cursory look at it. I know it was going up earlier in the week and then it sort of plateaued uh, midweek. And then yesterday we saw that there was quite a bit of a dip. I believe it was 7% uh, for silver and 3% for gold. There was quite a bit of movement there. And... Uh, I was looking. I was looking to make a purchase, anyways, but it just so happened to coincide with the uh, the markets moving. So I could see on Thursday that you know it was starting to go down, and uh, it was at the beginning of the week that I was thinking of buying. And I thought, you know what? That's when everything started to go up a little bit. And I thought I would wait it out because I know from um, I know from experience uh, buying before that Friday there usually is the, you know, a little bit of a sell-off and it will dip down a little bit. Wasn't expecting it to be this much, but I was thinking if I am going to buy, I should wait till the end of the week. And who knows, it could have went up and I wouldn't have been buying anything. Uh, but since it hit, since it did go down, and uh, lucky for me it went down quite a bit, uh, I did make a purchase. And uh, with this purchase, I picked up some gold and silver. So hopefully the um, mail is getting better and I'll be able to get this in my hands um, within a week. That's usually what the turnaround is. If I order on Friday, I usually get it before the next Friday. Uh, but who knows, I've been waiting for weeks for some packages. A lot haven't come in yet, uh, still, sorry. And uh, hopefully that will come in. Uh, but like I said at the top there, I do have a package that has come in from TD Precious Metals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into that right now. Let's get that. I should get a knife, but the scissors work fine. Uh, especially for packages where I just open it up. And if I need to cut around it, I just... You know, so the scissors are working for me, but I should get a... Uh, I should get a knife. So I got one here, I know what the one is. And then I got three here, and I know what those are too. So I can see that these are in the TD flips, which I do prefer. They uh, Because these are coins that I have working on the tube. And if you know my videos, and if you can put, you know, just put some of the pieces together, you might have an idea of what I picked up from TD today. Uh, but getting into that, I just want to... Uh, yeah, so yeah, these, just looking through the uh, bubble wrap, I can see that these are all in flips. So I'm going to get to the first one here. I got another Krugerrand. So this has been the slowest building tube that I have, is the Krugerrand. Every time I look online to go pick one up, like around Black Friday, I was looking to pick some stuff up. They didn't have the Krugs on sale, so I just went and started a kangaroo tube. And uh, these I have not seen on sale yet, but they happen to be like some of the cheapest uh, Sovereign Nation coins on TD Precious Metals. So it doesn't hurt to just throw in one or two when I'm picking up some more that are on sale. Yeah, it never hurt. I've been just been picking up like one or two of these uh, with, a, with other stuff when I'm ordering. Just because, just to throw it in there, because it is that, you know, you know, a little bit cheaper than like a Maple Leaf or an American Silver Eagle. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I I love the design, both sides here. I like this, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a gazelle. I will check that before I uh, post, but pretty sure it's a gazelle. And this, on the other hand, is, uh, um, I gotta put up the exact name there. I like this side here with the, you know, the big beard and everything like that, and the detail on the hair. It's just a very nice looking coin. And uh, of course, I do wanna get a gold version of this, uh, fractional or one ounce, whichever. Uh, I've always loved that look. I like the look, even though it's not 4.9's fine, I've always liked the look of the, uh, the OG Gold Krugerrand. 
um, but for now I'm just happy with a bunch of the uh, the silver ones that makes eight to the tube and uh, yeah as I said I've been working on that one for a while and uh, I just seem to always forget about it when I'm making a big purchase I'm never picking up so getting into this other package here I'm just gonna open them all up and then throw them off to the side because I know this gets annoying on camera so yes, I did order some more American Silver Eagles, and they were the Random Year Eagles. So uh, I wanted to show you this one because it's very cool. It's now my oldest American Silver Eagle, and I can see it's got a little bit of toning on it, but that's okay. This is a 1990. So my previous uh, oldest one was a 1998. And as you can see on the back here, there's no serif on the U. The serif is that kind of little thing that comes down on the U. You see that little thing where it kind of goes back where it's not just uh, the... Well, I'm, I'm not going to describe it. I'll just show it to you. See the differences in the U's? That little thing that dips down is called the serif. I believe those came in in 2009, 2008-2009, but I do know that the older ones, the U doesn't have a serif. I think there might be a couple other things on here that I'm not off the top of my head know to, to look for the older ones to the new ones. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really care too much about the, uh, the toning there. And uh, yeah, for 1990 coin, this is still in relatively nice condition. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to have glad to have some different things in there. So it's good to get an, uh, some more variety in my random year stack. I have been ordering the random year option from uh, TD Precious Metals because it's just that been that little bit cheaper uh, than the 2020s, uh, which is reversed from uh, Black Friday. Black Friday, they actually had the American 2020. Uh, they were the same price for a while as the uh, the random year, and then they actually got cheaper. So the second one here is another 90, and obviously I can see a trend going here. Uh, I did order from the random year, and in my head I was thinking, you know, I was going to get random year, but in that chunk of seven random years, I was expecting random years, not all of the same random year. You know what I mean? Uh, so it might have been dumb for me to expect uh, of like seven coins to get uh, 2004, a 2007, a 2011, a two, you know what I mean? All they got was uh, 2012s. They gave me all 2012s and I wasn't mad about it. I mean, they're American Silver Eagles, but in my head I was thinking why, it does make sense that they did that. They just grabbed a chunk and uh, they weren't gonna be grabbing and mixing and matching from different bins so I can get a variety of years. So yeah, this is another 1990. And uh, I haven't looked at the third one yet, but I'm going to guess it's a 1990. Am I lucky it's either going to be a 1990 or a 2012? Those have been the random year ones that I've been getting. Uh, but I will put that down here and grab the third. I see a little bit of toning on this one as well. But as I said, toning for me, it's fine. I don't care too much about it. And yeah, So yeah, I was right. I don't win anything, but I was right. Uh, another 1990. So that's three more silver eagles to the stack. And there's that little bit of toning or smudge mark up there with the, uh, the back. So yeah, this now makes uh, 17 American silver eagles. I gave one away in a trade. You guys saw what I received back in my last video. It was these six commemorative Canadian silver dollars, those 50% silver dollars that I've been collecting. Uh, I received six of those, and I gave away a 2020 American Silver Eagle. I believe this is 2020. I gave away one of these bad boys. The 2020 I gave away, and I also gave away a silver, not a, not a silver tin actually. It was a, a mint that I wasn't sure of, but it was a silver buffalo. Um, I do have a cup. I do have a tube on the go of the Silvertown buffaloes. I do have a uh, Sunshine Minting buffalo. And then I also have two that I couldn't quite tell because they didn't have the uh, an identifying marker on there for the mint, so I couldn't quite tell which independent mint made these. Uh, I gave one of those rounds as well. 
So that's what I traded on my end, a buffalo and an eagle, and then I got back the uh, the commemorative silver dollars, and then I've, I got back another dime. She sent a nice uh, commemorative bicentennial set of coins. Um, so it was a very, very nice, um, and again, thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, so I went from 15 to 14 when I sent one out. Then I got these three in, so I'm now back up to 17. And I do have another trade on the go that, uh, you know, as I said, with the mail the way it is, uh, I'm hoping my package will get to him before like February or something like that. Uh, but I am hoping that it'll get there soon. But I did do a trade with him where uh, I'll be receiving a 2020 American Silver Eagle. So you'll be seeing that on an upcoming video where I'll be uh, getting that uh, from the trade so that will bump me back up to 18 so I do only need two more of the American Silver Eagles um, to finish the tube and then the next thing that I'm going to do once this tube is done I am going to start with the 2021 Maple Leafs so some of my goals for this year are I want to stack two tubes of American Silver Maple Leafs American silver maple leaves, sorry, Canadian silver maple leaves. I want to stack two of the 2021s, and I want to stack two of the 2021 American silver eagles, but I want to get one of the old design and one of the new design. That's what I'm going to do to spread things out and keep things kind of uh, interesting while I'm stacking, is I'm going, obviously, those four tubes that I said I'm going to pick up, but I'm going to alternate uh, when I'm picking them up. So I'm going to get maple, eagle, maple, eagle. And uh, like I said, the first eagle that I'm going to get is the old design. And then the second one later in the year, when the new design comes out, that's when I'll be stacking the, uh, the other one. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I'm going to get these tubed up while I finish off. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you took advantage of the uh, the spot price move uh, like I said I know silver and gold had a little bit of a dip yesterday so uh, let me know on both ends if you took advantage for me I did pick up uh, a bit of gold like I said uh, I'm not gonna say what size or how much I got I will should save that for the uh, the video when it comes out um, but I definitely did um, I definitely did order. I like having the, uh, so I like having all my coins facing the same way when I put them in a tube, and I like having the walker uh, face up. So I'm just gonna turn that upside down. I'll slide this over top to get the, to get it in there. So there we go. As you can see, that's 17 now. And for this one, I'll just throw them in like that. So we got 17. And eight so there we go got rid of the little display there and I like putting everything in the nice tubes these are gonna go straight into the monster box no fuss no muss so again thank you for watching and uh, I hope you come back for the next one thank you